Hello everyone, my name's King, and today, we are gonna do some ruins. So, uh, yeah, it, ruins are kind of difficult to do a tutorial on, because there's so many different ways you can do one. So I figured just to give general idea of how ruins are done, I figured we go with, like, a shrine altar kind of Stonehenge vibe for this one. If you have a particular ruin idea you have in mind, or any other build idea you have in mind, let me know in the comments. I can come up with something. It'll take like two weeks, but you know, it's not that bad. So uh, yeah. This one is nice and simple. It's actually like all these outer bits of rock form a circle, and then there are a bit of like cobbly bits of like parts that fell off or whatever you could go more advanced and actually replicate the design just like lying down if you have one that's like broken like say this then the remaining bit could be like laying down here or something but i figured just to keep it simple and to keep this moving fairly quickly if it's missing i just add stumps and then here, there's like the actual altar bit, like it's a table, but the table's fallen at an angle. It's all crumpled and stuff. And then I just threw around a bunch of gravel and coarse dirt. And then where there's the white clay, that's just the ground, so you can imagine like grass there or something. Just so like the area here is much more rubbly, so there's a lot of rocks and things and parts where the grass cannot grow as well just thrown around so uh yeah enough talking let's get into the actual tutorial shall we yeah shaky cam <clears throat> yeah so here are the materials you're going to need to use cobblestone all the cobblestone gravel coarse dirt bushy stuff and of course, if you want more texture, you could use like regular stone or stone brick or the mossy cobble versions. Especially since we are in 1.14, you could have like all this as a mossy cobblestone variant or as liter literally any kind of variant. And you could get extreme detail. But I like sticking with just stone and maybe throwing in some mossy cobble because I feel like if it's going to be a really ancient build, it would make sense to have it out of very rough materials that maybe maybe have been eroded. And if it's like super duper ancient, maybe they don't know how to make bricks of stone. So just having a cobble makes sense. Like it's just like a big stone pillar and then it's eroded over the years kind of thing. But uh, yeah, so let's get started. To get started, I'm just going to map out the circle of where all the stone pillars are going to be surrounding the main altar. So to do this, pick the center point on each side, just figure out a center. And for me, the way I do a circle is I don't really pick a center point and then decide the radius I just go on one side and make a circle see if it looks good can't eyeball it but the center of this one would be here so the radius of this circle if you do circles that way would be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten blocks out I think uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine uh, it'd be nine blocks out, my bad. Not ten, nine blocks out from the center. Place a block here. Place three on either side to have this face be seven. Then from the seven blocks go three, then two, one block side diagonal. Then three, then the other seven, then three, one, one, three, Seven, three, one, one, three, seven, three, one, one, three. 
And it's okay if this doesn't actually make a perfect circle and it's kind of squarish. It's tad off from perfect. But that's fine because we are literally never going to use this. This is all this is is so we can figure out where the table is going to be. And as you can see, even on this one, I do believe the center would have been like here, but the table's off. They're ruins. They've been moved around by the weather, and they were made very long time ago. So if it's not perfect or doesn't look the way you want it to, that's fine, because you're going to be destroying it later, or at least making it seem like it was destroyed, and that's why it doesn't look perfect. That and also literally nothing is ever perfect. So, now we get to plan out where the uh, pillars are going to be. So, on this 3x3, three three, I'm going to just do a plus shape, and these plus shapes uh, signal where the, um, the pillar is going to go. So, just roughly, kind of just loosely, without any care of, like, distance and stuff. I'm just going to put them all the way around. I'm going to leave a larger opening here as like this is where you this is the quote unquote entrance. Although with ruins there is no real entrance. But uh yeah. So I'm going to put another one here. Let's say one here. One right about there maybe. I'm a uh, struggle to make one in this corner. One here. Sure, why not? Well, you know, lucky. We get to do another one. But I'm going to make it two blocks apart because uh, I feel like I, some of these are already one block apart. I don't know what I did here. But I guess I'll go like that. This one will go like that. Uh, yeah, sure, these two can be super duper close. Why not? Actually, no. Never mind. One black gap there. This one, that's easy. And then there. So there we go. There's a bunch of them in a circle. It looks kind of wonky, and you can barely see the circle within it. Like, it doesn't quite make a perfect circle now that these pillars are in place. Like, some of them are on the inside of the line, and then there are some that are on the outside of the line, and so it kind of gives this, like, janky straight, and then straight kind of thing. And I think that's fine. Now, uh, every other one is going to be an actual pillar. Mainly because I feel like some of these pillars are too close together, so... By making it every other one, it makes it feel a bit more open and a bit more real. And to be honest, that was actually because I wanted it to be every other one. But then as I was building them, it felt too claustrophobic. So I changed my mind down the road. And that's kind of a key thing with building ruins or building anything, really. Uh, you can change your mind. So say this feels weird. I could do the other every other one but uh, keep in mind it is going to be every other one at least if you want it to look like that but to contradict myself we are going to build every single one so I'm gonna do this one and then copy all the way around so we go up four like so and then we go in the center too and then we come back out like this for two blocks like so now going up three with walls just to make it a little bit more cylindrical from like a top view see how it has like those tiny notches like there it just sort of makes it look a bit more like a circle. And then inside here, we go like so, 
just because I don't like having just the single block and doesn't feel very supported to me. And then I'm gonna leave this top bit like, like that. Just because I think it kinda gives it like a slight inward angle, I guess. I'm not sure how to describe it, it just kinda goes like that kind of thing. So it's kind of like a hourglass, but it doesn't go all the way back out. So just copy that for every single one of them. Or if you are feeling like you want to save on materials and time, just go every other one. Because we are going to get rid of like these eventually. But uh, I'm going to do that and then we can continue on the tutorial. Alrighty, so I've built all the ones all the way around, and it looks like so. So this is sort of the what it would look like uh, back before it became a ruin, or at least that's the general idea. It would probably look a lot more prettier and probably a bit more organized than this, but this is what it looks like. And what I just did there was build the altar, how it would look like back in the day. So I just put stairs all the way around that one block in the middle. So it looks kind of like a stone table. I feel like it, it looks good. Now, to make it look ruined, I'm going to be destroying some of the pillars and messing up the table and throwing some rocks around the place. This is not that hard to be honest you just break stuff which I mean it's kind of in our nature to break stuff so it shouldn't be that hard like I shouldn't have to hold your hand too too much when it comes to breaking things just break it down as far as you want like say this one I'm only gonna break it a little bit just try your best not to leave any blocks floating because I feel like that kind of defeats the purpose of it being a ruin. But yeah, it's just breaking stuff. Like say that one, I'll just leave like that, but this block's floating. So I'm going to just do that. Maybe have it collapse a little bit. Also feel free to throw slabs around and as well as like stairs. Just make it feel like it's fallen apart but it hasn't fallen apart so much that it's unrecognizable so like something like that that that's fine um we do this one next just go crazy with it and i don't really like having freestanding pillars but that should be fine. There we go. That's good. And then let's say we do this one. There we go. And then here. One more there. And then I'm gonna do another small one that's kind of nub out here at the front. 
just so it seems decent. Sorry for all the button smashing you can probably hear. That's just kind of how it goes with these sword things. And there we go. Now in here, I'm going to throw in a bit of rock as if it's part of the stuff that has fallen. But at the same time, they're also just rocks. So it's pretty simple, just do a little pile type thing, like that. Uh, let's throw in a wall there, maybe stair there. Uh, stair there. Yeah. And then I'm gonna do another one back here. Just so you get the idea. You can go as crazy or as simple with this as you want. The general idea is the more the older it is, the more worn down it would be. Now to give it some interest, like how these pillars look, we are going to lightly destroy the ones that are left standing. And probably lightly destroy the ones that are heavily destroyed but are still somehow standing. Uh, to do that, you just break a few blocks. Nothing too major, just enough so it feels decent. If it feels like it probably is floating, uh, you just put some blocks back, but just lightly tap, just here and there. Also, another thing you could do to give a place a little bit of interest is to have these pillars at different heights. I've accomplished that on this one by making this one a block higher than that one, that one a block lower than that one, this one I think is the same size as that, no it's a, like the same size as that one, just varying them a little bit. Uh, the best way to do that is to just build on like default terrain because that already has like natural ups and downs to it and that will cause the pillars to be higher or lower than each other. But I'm a bit rushed for today, so I'm not going to do that on this one. But what I am going to do is just rough this up. Break some blocks, put some slabs, just to make it feel like it goes up and down a little bit. That's a bit too drastic. So I'm going to put a stair there. Same on this one. That one's a bit drastic, but that's fine. Sometimes a bit drastic is perfectly fine. Uh, here, that does not seem good, so I'm gonna just do that so it's like a small chunk. And then maybe even just go a bit too far down on some of these. Uh, here, I'm gonna just do that. Same on that one. This one's already pretty dilapidated, so I'm not going to do too, too much. Like so. Maybe actually get rid of that, too. Uh, this one, however, needs to be much more dilapidated. It's not dilapidated nearly enough. Saying the word dilapidated is fun. But, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, that, that looks like there was chunk cut out of that one. That's fine. Uh, for here, I'm going to go like something like that, and then get rid of that block. Maybe, maybe that one too. And that one I'm gonna leave perfectly fine because they don't all have to be like super duper destroyed. So there we go. Now the next thing is I'm just going to get rid of the floor a bunch. Just bam everywhere break a bunch of random holes in the floor. I'm going to put gravel there. Make sure to concentrate it more around the center than anything else. And then fade it out as it gets further away. So this one, I'm this time I'm going to keep it inside the uh, circle. But you don't have to keep it centered around the thing. Like here, I have it so it does get slightly beyond and kind of acts as like a tiny border. 
I'm not doing that with this one, but it's entirely plausible for stuff to get thrown around outside of the ruins. In fact, if you're doing like an adventure map or something, that might be a cool way to draw the the uh, p viewer's attention towards the ruin. Like maybe there's a piece of gravel that is kind of out of place. That's not grass, but you get the idea. Like tiny bit of gravel where there shouldn't be. And what happened was like the winds blew it down a hill or something. And so they follow the small bits of gravel as it gets more and more until they find this or whatever. I don't know, I'm not good at this stuff. I'm just giving you guys idea. Ideas, plural. Anyway, so you just fill in a bunch of random spots with gravel. And the idea of the gravel is it's like small rocks and rubble that have eroded away. And it also just gives a nice little flooring to the uh, area. Kind of like it was a path, but not really. Because it's old and nobody has been here in a while. So it's not a path. That was kind of bad example of what it would be. But yeah, something like that. And then you take the coarse dirt and then you just put it in areas around the uh, gravel. And in this texture pack, which is a little taste of germ, if you haven't heard of it, um, in a little taste of germ, gravel and coarse dirt work very well together surprisingly well so it's kind of acts as a tiny bit of a highlight but even without it does kind of help blend like the grass doesn't grow on the coarse dirt and it kind of goes from grass to rough dirt to gravel and then back to rough dirt back to grass kind of thing so it helps act as like a small buffer to help the stuff kind of blend. So I'm gonna just throw a bit around like so. And I think that turned out good. Maybe a bit more around the rocks. And yeah. Now this is the easiest part. Just grab some grass and then just run around the place holding down the place button and throw a bunch on the coarse dirt because since my ground is not grass it can only place on the coarse dirt but if you want it doesn't just have to be on the coarse dirt it could also be on the uh, grass so you could just bone meal or just so there are no flowers, if that's what you're going for. Just shear your... Grab some shears, grab a bunch of grass with that, and then run around placing a bunch. Uh, I don't like how that one is practically invisible. Um, guess I'll have to deal with that. And now with the leaves, what they can do is be like bushes or vines. So just throw some in places to help add interest. Oh, by the way, uh, you could do something like that to make this kind of more dilapidated if you want. Yeah, that's good. No, then, then it's leaning too forward. Uh, I'm gonna just do that. Why not? So, back to the grass. Just pile some up. Put some within the walls as well, if you feel like it. Don't put them too high, or else it just seems like it was just a vine. Unless that's what you're going for. If that's what you're going for, go ahead. But in this case, it's just going to be bushes that have grown or overgrown. So 
so they would be just sort of on top of like the lowest levels of the vine or of the uh, wall. And then let's say place one there. And there we go. That is how you make a uh, ruin structure. Looks nice. And from above, you can see that a majority of this is still within that circle. Even though that circle is hard to see now because everything else. And if you want, you could get rid of this circle. Actually, I think if you follow the tutorial and not like what you saw, just what I told you about generally, this shouldn't be here. Should it should actually just be like dirt or something. Or whatever block was down here. And... It should blend in well, hopefully, a anyway. But uh, yeah, I've been King from the King Team, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.